Number one, that I write to the speaker, which I have done. This is a letter writing to the speaker asking her to convene a commission meeting because there has been no commission meeting at least since I got into office. Not one that I'm aware of. So it's important that the commission gets to sit and we get answers to all of these various expenditures, plenty of money that is not explained legally or even morally. That that commission meeting gets to happen urgently within this week. If there have been meetings happening and I'm not in the know, this one I want to be in the know. So that I sit therein and ask questions. Because the commission okays all of these expenditures. We want to know. Number two, you know that parliament was adjourned, signed I, and um, we don't know when next it's going to sit. So as the shadow cabinet, we are asking the speaker to convene parliament soonest, within this week, so that we discuss these matters. So that as an institution, we get to be accountable to people out there. But number three, that Parliament of Uganda, this institution, get, gets to unequivocally explain to the people of Uganda all these various allegations. Staff recruitments that are irregular, monies that are spent uh, in manners that are not understandable, the per diems, the service awards, the contracts, and all of that that as an institution, we get to see a proper explanation to the public. It's not enough for the spokesperson of uh, parliament to be on some media houses um, and say what he has been saying. It's his job, we've got to do that. But as parliament, to release a proper statement explaining these issues to the people of Uganda. We are accountable to the people of Uganda. And no one should say it is not the business of the public. It's their business. This is their money. So how do you say it's not their business? It is their business. Our vision as parliament is to be a people-centered parliament. If we are to be a people-centered parliament, we must account to the people. That we shall be people-centered. Otherwise, then we are not being honest with ourselves. Our hope is that uh, these three demands and resolutions from the shadow cabinet get to be acted upon soonest that a commission meeting is called within this week. Two parliament gets to reconvene so that we discuss these matters on the floor of parliament. But number three, that parliament as an institution provides a proper explanation to the people of Uganda about these expenditures. There's nothing classified here that cannot be explained. If these are our demands that the shadow cabinet are not acted upon within this week,